time heals all wounds. How about if we share 10 things to speed up the process? Give time a hand to heal the wounds that happen to all of us. Time Heals All Wounds is, of course, our idiom today. Sharon horn Elson with Supersize Your Business. How do we use the idiom, Time Heals All Wounds, to grow and build our business? How do we recover from the hurts and the things that happen to each and every one of us? This is one of those idioms that goes back to ancient times. The Greek poet Menendez, I believe, used it in 300 BC. Geoffrey Chaucer also used it in his Troilus and Crusade year. I don't even know how to pronounce it, in 1380s. So it's been around for centuries. Anything that's been around for centuries obviously impacts pretty much every human being on the planet. Well, <clears throat> what are some ways to look at this idiom? It means, of course, that feelings of sadness and disappointment will go away as time goes by. As time passes, things hurt us less. Uh, I, I guess I would agree based on my personal experience. Lots of weird stuff happened to me in my life, as I'm sure you have. And over time, we just kind of forget it. We, for, we forgive and forget. Now, of course, forgiving is a choice. Forgetting, I tend to forgive because forgiveness is for me and I don't forget. If someone harms me or hurts me or does something evil to me, I pretty much remember that for the rest of my life. <clears throat> I remember what somebody said mean to me in high school and I still don't like that person. So it's not about holding grudges, it's forgiving it but then knowing that we don't have to trust everybody because everybody doesn't deserve our trust. Everybody hasn't earned our trust. So we're gonna talk about 10 ways to let go. How do you go about moving on when you've been hurt or wounded in, in work, your business life, or in your personal life? Sometimes our competition wounds us and steals our best customers. Sometimes a customer just decides to leave us or gets mad at us or doesn't think that we're serving them to the best of our ability, whatever. And that can hurt us as well. How do we move on? I say first and foremost, what's the lesson to be learned in the situation, the relationship, the interaction, the business transaction? What can I learn from this so I can apply the lessons learned to the future so I don't ever have to repeat the mistakes or the lessons or the, the challenges that I've faced in the past? But what are 10 ways or more to absolutely positively reduce <clears throat> the amount of hurt and the wounding that we feel whenever we experience some kind of a hurt or a, a, a jilt or whatever you call it. Uh, there's lots of different ways. Uh, these are just some of the ways I've used. I find ways to um, create a mantra or a saying or an affirmation to counteract the hurt. If somebody tells me I'm fat and ugly, I will counter that with an, an affirmation that has something that has the absolute opposite effect of that. Why do I use that one? Because that's an example from high school, right? Where um, the other, another thing I'll do is I will create physical space and distance between me and the situation or myself and my business and the person or entity that has hurt us. But some entities we can't do that with, right? I used to be inspected by the USDA. I had a, a food manufacturing plant that processed food. And so it was regulated by the USDA, the FDA, the Department of Agriculture. And sometimes things would happen and they would think things were wrong, just like in, in tax code, it's subject to interpretation. And we would argue that they were right. Well, I don't have the freedom to say IRS, I'm not going to do what you say. I'm not going to, you know, you can sue, but that's a big lengthy process or FDA or USDA or OSHA or whoever you're interacting with. Sometimes we need to go along with it, whether we agree with it or not or we need to figure out a way to make it acceptable for that entity, whether we agree with it or not. But otherwise, I like to create physical distance between, say, my ex-husband and myself. Uh, we can um, work on our own life, our own continuous improvement, our own journey, our own business. We can continue to move forward toward our goals and not let the thing that has hurt us bother us. We can be gentle and kind to ourselves. We can allow ourselves to feel the emotions. We can accept that the other person or the other entity is probably not ever gonna apologize. They might not even realize that they've done something to hurt our feelings or wrong. And to be honest, I personally don't necessarily want them to know that they hurt my feelings or they did something wrong or they have wounded me. I want to come off as, because I am strong and confident and I'm gonna overcome no matter what comes my way. We can engage and take care of ourselves. We can engage in self-care. We can, 
mind melt. Totally lost my train of thought. Have a sip of coffee. We can give ourselves permission to talk about it. We can talk to, excuse me, bad coffee drinker today. We can, we can talk about it. We can give ourselves permission to talk about it with people that we know, like, and trust. We can surround ourselves with people that are our allies, that are for us, that support us, that nurture us, that help us to move forward after we've been wounded or hurt. We can choose to forgive. Again, I say forgive, but don't forget. And then sometimes we actually need to seek out and look for professional help, somebody that can really help us to get through a challenge faster. And maybe that's a traditional mind worker or it's a non-traditional mind worker. Maybe it's somebody that does some other form of modality like NLP or meditation, hypnotism, whatever. Whatever works for you to help you to heal faster because guess what? If we're broken and we have wounds, sometimes wounds and negative things and pain can drive us toward our goals but oftentimes they slow us down from making the progress that we need. So love to know your experience with this particular idiom or expression, time heals all wounds. I would say for me, totally true, but like the, the tips and the things that I've shared, I like to speed up the process. I don't wanna wait for time to go by and get around to healing something that's hurt me. I just wanna fix it, move on and make progress so that I can build and supersize and grow my business, which is one of my personal goals and objectives. So share in the comments below your experience with this idiom, and I will, of course, be seeing tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how can you use it to supersize and grow your business? We supersize and grow our business by making sure our life and that we are the person that can lead that supersized business. So healing our past wounds is, is incredibly important. Have an awesome day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.